In just a few minutes, a candlelight vigil will begin on the steps of City Hall in Lemonster for a native son killed during a NATO training drill overseas. The body of Marine Captain Ross Reynolds was returned to his hometown yesterday. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. Reynolds was piloting an Osprey helicopter when the chopper went down two weeks ago in Norway. He was among four Marines who perished. WBZ's Brandon Truitt is live for us in Lemonster tonight. Well, Ken, just in the last few minutes, people started to show up here to begin to set up what will be a candlelight vigil in just about a half hour or so. If we take you in, you're seeing members of this community, veterans affairs uh, leaders in this community as well that are setting up here at the steps of City Hall. And really, this entire street is lined with American flags. Some of them are flying at half staff as well. This community led candlelight vigil here to honor the Marine who grew up here. Just yesterday, the remains of Captain Ross Reynolds were brought from Logan Airport in Boston to Fitchburg. They passed through Lemonster on the way. People lined the street for hours then just as a way to pay their respects to the captain. The 27-year-old Marine, as you mentioned, Ken, was killed in that NATO training exercise last month. The Osprey pilot had been with the Marine since 2017. And over the past few weeks, community members have been remembering Captain Reynolds as adventurous, joyful, and a great leader. His grieving family said that they will miss his smile, hugs, and laughter the most. And as we bring you out live, people gathering now for this vigil set to begin in about 30 minutes. We know Captain Reynolds' wake will be held here tomorrow afternoon, followed by a private funeral service that's set to happen on Tuesday. We're live in Lemonster. Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.